When the U.S. flag was raised at the newly opened American Embassy in Havana two years ago, it looked as if half a century of hostility between Cuba and the U.S. was finally coming to an end. But these mysterious sonic attacks could be straight out of the Cold War. For safety reasons, the U.S. government has decided to send more than half of all the diplomats working here back to Washington, along with all family members. The visa section will close completely, which will affect hundreds of Cubans wanting to visit relatives or go to the U.S. on business or academic trips. But why? With so many families who want to come together, but why? That's unnecessary. It's inhuman. With the new Trump administration, everything has been lost. Everything has come backwards, and we're turning back to the same thing we had before. The U.S. State Department is also warning American citizens to avoid travel to Cuba because some of these suspected sonic attacks are believed to have taken place at hotels, though there are no reports of non-diplomats being affected. I don't know what's dangerous about it because we are having a wonderful time. The people are very friendly, very welcoming. So what is it that's dangerous? Tourism is a major source of much-needed foreign currency here and has increased significantly since the U.S. and Cuba restored diplomatic relations. According to the State Department, 21 U.S. diplomats have suffered injuries ranging from long-term hearing loss to dizziness and visual or balance problems. The first incident was in October last year, the most recent one in August this year, and they still don't know who's behind the attacks or what is causing the health problems. The Cuban government denies that it's involved but says it will continue to cooperate with the investigation. It's a precipitous move and will affect bilateral relations, in particular the cooperation on areas of mutual interest between the two countries. Cuba desires to continue an active cooperation between the authorities of the two countries to uncover what's happening. Para el esclarecimiento total de estos hechos. This is a significant setback in what remains a very fragile relationship, but it does fall short of breaking off diplomatic relations altogether. Michael Voss, CGTN, Havana.